F-15s in Jacksonville startled many, shattered some windows, broke glass, and people they sure did. touch grass. They sure Forced did. Forced people to touch grass after breaking glass. Yeah. With our breaking news. Why is it not? Uh, here we go. Um, so are you gonna play it? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna listen to him in a second. I'll read the the thing. F-15 shattered homeowners' windows while training in Florida during recent low altitude training exercise. Many residents across several towns reported various other property damage. Residents in Putnam County called the sheriff. Why? Like what? Anyway, it was on uh, March 2nd, 2024, unhappy with uh, that their homes were damaged and wanting to know what the heck was going on. It destroyed my friggin' house. Doug, can we listen to the 911, the 911 times a thousand calls? Huntington Shortcut Road, Crescent yeah. City. Uh, I don't know what the hell that plane just dropped, but it dropped a bomb behind my house and it blew up. Okay. It's right. crazy. Okay, so you actually saw a plane drop something? No, I was in there watching TV and I heard the plane that they come by just about every day, you know, dropping bombs over in the National Forest. Well, this one, they, they dropped behind my house. I don't see no flames at this point, but it was so close, it moved my trailer. I mean, the whole trailer shook. So they dropped a bomb or a plane crashed or something. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's okay. crazy. Can I get your name? <laughs> okay. It's on the shortcut road. Can I get your phone number, Mr. <laughs> okay. My God. Are you okay? That's Yeah, I'm okay. I about had a heart attack. I'm telling you, it shook the... <laughs> My whole house and dust was flying in the house. It was crazy. It's like I thought they done got me. I, I just okay. knew it was gone. It's okay. close. So I hope there ain't nobody messed up behind me. I mean, okay. you know, right. that's we've crazy. Got, we've got multiple calls on it. we got people on the way. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. I would love Fun to be that responding out. deputy. <laughs> Lake Avenue in Crescent City. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, um, something just exploded. I don't know if it was somebody's <laughs> propane tank, but yeah, there's a Bobby. smell. Propane um, petrochemicals, Bobby. I literally thought something hit a bomb Dang in the it. house. I mean, the whole house just vibrated. I mean, so you're saying you can, in it. You're saying you, okay, yes, ma'am. You said you can smell gas now? S something smells wrong. It, 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 it it's smells like, like freedom. Smell, but it, That's what that it, smell is. It's not a gas smell. Right. I, I JP8 and freedom. It, you just know it's not the right kind of smell. And okay. it, what is, it literally. What is your address? Um, Lake Avenue. And what was your name? <laughs> this is, um, I'm a guest here. And um, they. We're all looking to see, if, you know, maybe a neighbor house blew up or something. But it was Whoever made this video has got the wrong I'm eagle up there. What, what's there your phone number? Fix it. All right. Well, we got law enforcement and the fire department out there to go check everything out and see what's going on. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. The sheriff's office line is recorded. Yes, ma'am. Have you got any calls about what just happened here in Pomona Park? <laughs> yeah, we were getting multiple calls. We got them on the way. Did you hear like a loud explosion sound? Yes, it's destroyed my friggin' house. <laughs> okay, what's your address? It destroyed my house. <laughs> County Road 308 B. It literally has knocked everything off my walls. Okay, do you see anything? No, wow. ma'am. I went outside and I can't see nothing, but I am literally like tripping right now because it has literally. When it comes, I'm thinking it could have been the planes that did it, but I don't know. But it's, it's literally the aliens. everything off my wall. It has <laughs> destroyed the inside of my house. Okay. All right. We've got them on the way. What's your name, ma'am? Okay. That's it. We've, we've seen enough. Um, <laughs> Gonky, have you ever... All right. First off, before we continue laughing, 
I will say that they're the heart of America. You know, probably My very people. good people. And they're good people that cared enough about, they thought maybe they heard a plane crash or <clears> something <throat> bad had happened and they're calling to try to get help. We understand that. It's still hilarious. <laughs> it's not funny that they lost their windows and no. their their little little figurines fell off the the TV or whatever. The, the, the bobbleheads. All the bobble, all the Dale Earnhardt hearts <laughs> fell off. Their, uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, geez. Their Dales and their Daryls and their <laughs> Casey Canes and their. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, no, they ain't, they ain't uh, Jeff Gordon people. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so where can you go supersonic, right? Because that's what this is. 15 Not miles, over handle, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> over the water within 15 miles of shoreline or in designated areas. Um, so Sonic Boom is created by going supersonic. Mm -hmm. One. And there are places you can't do it over land, one of them. There's actually a place uh, out in Whiskey 174. Uh, what is it? Fort. Uh, God, what is it? Fort. Um, Wait, out, out over the water? Pretty much yeah. anywhere over the water you can go supersonic. Nope. Uh, at 174, you couldn't within 15 miles because that's where the turtles were. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the dry tortugas. Yeah, but what was that? What was that island? They had an island where the tourists oh, yeah, would it go. Because uh... we'd always use that as like a, uh, like, because you put the Beano yeah, around wait, the 15 mile that, arc. That's the island right there. There you go. Everybody's <laughs> right got a picture of that. That's the island. Uh, I can't it would remember. mess up the turtles. The turtle yes. mating doesn't like the supersonics. So yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. Dude, this that's how you can tell you're getting old. Anyway, so bad, bad, bad things. Obviously, probably not intentional. Um, I don't know if they were practicing like an alert scramble, because remember Jacksonville at 15s for now, they're gonna get fat Amy. So it'll be a little bit more difficult to do this when fat Amy rolls into town. But <laughs> they've got the old uh, Eagle jet and might have been practicing some alert scrambles, might have just been doing a little, I don't know. It does happen sometimes that you accidentally go supersonic. I've done it a couple times. Have you done it, Gonky? Uh, Allegedly, I've done it. I have not. Uh, uh, <clears throat> for legal reasons, this is a joke. Yeah, you know, um, no, actually, I've never, I've never unintentionally busted the number where, where i shouldn't have but it's oh, it must be nice you know i take that back i did i i did go supersonic on a 9k set when i was when i was oh, new oh, um yeah. i was That's in nice. uh yeah i was in owens valley which you cannot go supersonic there but nobody called because it's out <laughs> in the middle of nowhere <laughs> so that actually reminded me of a third time i've accidentally gone supersonic because i did it the very first time again for legal reasons, this is a joke, and I'll deny it. <laughs> deny. Deny, <laughs> deny, counter-accuse. That's right. The first time was in pilot training, where they're like, don't do, do not do continuous aileron rolls. So what do I do? Continuous aileron rolls, <laughs> going downhill, and end up supersonic. That's, that's one. Um, <laughs> one was in the Hornet, because if you were in mill power, and I didn't know this, yeah. If you were just at mill power trying to get somewhere at 25,000 feet, that dude would super cruise. It'll go supersonic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that accidentally, <laughs> allegedly. And then the other time that you just made me think of was the time I pulled 9.8 Gs because it was over Avon Park. You're not supposed to do that over Avon Park. Oh, yeah. So you were at the Makos down yeah, south. Yeah, I was yeah. allegedly. Some allegedly. squatter down there. Yeah, some, some squatter down there. <laughs> Because I, I, we had just gotten back from combat operations and my internal clock was used to having 500 pound bombs and tanks and targeting pod. And I was in a slick Viper because we did BFM completely clean. No centerline bag, no nothing. And when we did the check away, I was slow. I was like at 290 or whatever. And so I was like, well, I'll just leave it in blower. When I turn in, I'll, I'll be up at that, you know, fighting speed. And I hit the, <laughs> I hit the merge at like 1.2. And I pulled, I'm like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go one circle because I'm slow. Oh, dude. Internal clock says I'm slow. Oh. Didn't even look at the airspeed. And dude, the, like, I knew it was bad when I'm like, whoa, this thing's pulling a lot of G's. And he immediately like saddled up gun me. And, you know, I'm like trying to stay awake, sir. See, these are things you like Stupid that couldn't happen story. to you. 
Well, that couldn't happen to you in DCS because you you know what I'm saying. Like it, like correct me if I'm wrong. Is like when I was supersonic on my 9K set. As soon as I started pulling, I I realized my error. Like, did you did you realize you were going significantly too fast when you first as started? As soon pulling? as it hurt a lot. Well, the thing is, you're always pulling nine Gs, so <clears throat> like. It's got a limiter. It just overshot it to 9.8. You know, it's but just, not. You were arcing like a big dog, right? Oh, I was getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> like it wasn't even like he was doing a 9K set on me and we merged high aspect. You know, it was pretty much just a whoop, whoop. You know, he's saddled up and gunning me because I've made such an egregious error. Yeah. Yeah. No, it happens, man. It's uh, every once in a while. Uh, we would <clears throat> there at the rag and Lamore, when, especially uh I was there when they first opened the Lamar Moa. So we would do uh, missions right overhead the field, but you know, Hanford's down there in Lamar. And you know, I remember the first time, you know, student, uh, super horror, man, he goes into the notch and just zoom and boom. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. uh, maybe we shouldn't be doing air to air right over Hanford and Lamar. <laughs> I mean, the, depending on what altitude you're at, yeah. you know, when you're, when you're unloading to get speed, you know, cold day, yeah, whatever, it hot rod, hot rod engine. It's, it's a little yeah. tuned, you know, it's yeah. But you know, with, uh, so with these guys, I, I wonder if it was more than one jet. Cause that was uh, probably him and his wingman. Yeah. Um, cause I, 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 it sounds like, you know, we're, we're kind of poking fun at these 911 calls because they're not you know un, non-standard uh <laughs> calls to emergency services which is what makes them funny but it does sound like there was quite a bit of damage and of course sonic booms can can yeah. do some damage but typically at the higher altitudes they don't do a lot like twenty five thousand feet it's not right. going to do a whole lot but annoy you like a pump. right right i mean this had to be low altitude and so let's get let's flip flip the hat right so i do criminal patrol we get okay. a lot of weird calls for service I am now putting myself in this deputy sh shoes where this gets dispatched out mm -hmm. and you're like, so what now? Cause you're just sitting there as the deputy going, I don't know how to handle that. You know, call the, call the government, call the law. I am the law. Okay. Call the government because I, <laughs> this, I'm not writing that report, No, but you know, cause sometimes we get calls. Sometimes they're BS, right? You get calls of gunshots, right? You'll go out there and they're like, I hear gunshots, but I don't know where it's coming from. But I know I hear gunshots. Well, it's either fireworks or it's, or they're hearing something else. And so, but when you get this number of calls all saying that, the first thing they're doing is they're looking to make sure there's no downed aircraft. You know, they're making sure that there's no missing military aircraft. Because remember what just happened a couple months ago, the Marines lost a F-35. We played those tapes where they're calling, we didn't play the tapes, but we talked about calls, where the Marines yeah. are calling saying, hey, we lost a jet. Especially now Putnam County, I don't know how far that is from Jacksonville or whether they're even aware, you know, because sometimes farther you are away, the more you're not even aware that there is a F-15 presence. So, I mean, it's a, it's, that's a tough one. I, I, I yeah, wouldn't want to want to be that responder because more than likely because there was damage, they did show up at somebody's house and they did have to take a, a report. Right. And so you're like, I don't know. How do you even write this? You know, I mean, this is give it to the field training officer and their recruit. Yeah. I, and <clears throat> I mean, we haven't heard anything, but they might've been scrambled on a real world, real world alert. You know, I mean, yeah. P Patrick says, did the air force answer or explain yet? Doug was in a, in that article. Did it actually say, at the bottom, did I miss that? Um, go take a look. I don't think it did. I, I read. I don't earlier. remember reading any kind of. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. In the past, when this has happened, they have taken responsibility. So yeah, it says the Florida National Guard Command has directed that an investigation take place, determine facts, implement any necessary measures. So they're not. I don't think they're basically uh, saying that, but they do. Uh, they established a phone line for the residents affected should they choose to file a claim. And yep. typically that's what happens. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> they'll pay yeah. for it. Yeah. I mean, every once in a while we'd have a student, you know, like I was saying, boom, hand for Lamar. And it was usually somebody call the cops, you know, then they would, they almost always knew, you know, I mean, we're probably the biggest jet base on the West coast. Um, and then, you know, somebody would call the ready room <laughs> and then we would just, 
very quickly you could lay out the timeline and you can figure out who and then usually by then whoever you know you'd see it in the debrief right so i mean i didn't even like when i went supersonic on my 9k set i had no idea that i i went supersonic until uh the debrief when the ip was watching my tapes <clears throat> and he you know and he, he saw he saw how fast i was going but um yeah i mean you know the fighter pilot enemy mover like uh <laughs> like applauds these guys good job but you know at the same time you don't want to hurt people damage property so hopefully you know it would hopefully you know hopefully these guys don't get in too much trouble or any trouble at all but um you definitely don't want to be booming booming the residents in your eagle jet yeah so putnam county uh palatka putnam Ooh. county florida yeah so it that is pretty rural share the screen uh if i go away gonky you got it for here on out uh, what are you sharing sir oh, i'm gonna share a map that's a sectional isn't it yeah so this is the mm -hmm. airspace Palatka, oh. right there oh they were in a working area well dude this is the this is uh mm. this is the moa up here yeah so this is all yeah. this region right here it's probably the southern part right there um so whatever they were doing because there's r2906 right there so r2906 is probably what they were talking about how sometimes they hear um bombs and stuff because that would be the restricted area right do you hey did you ever go up there no we I went pretty far north but uh so there's a bombing range out there so this is lake george yeah see r2906 yeah okay yeah there is we always went to placid yeah but so that's where they're at up here that's pretty rural i mean there's not a lot out there right and that's what the the article says as well so yeah i just thought i would add that uh for that <laughs>